How is it going everyone? My name is Multi Necroman and today guys I'll be teaching you how you can get more FPS in League of Legends. So basically guys we all want more FPS in League of Legends. I heard you guys in the previous FPS boost from League of Legends. You can check it down here. It's on the screen right now. You can click it if you want to check it too. And I heard you guys on the comments many times that you have like 20, 30 FPS and that's an issue. So today guys I decided to make an update video on that FPS boost and help you guys have more FPS in the game with easy settings so everyone can run the game smoothly. Before we do anything guys please make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video or if this video helps you somehow make sure to leave a like at the end of this video. So without further ado guys let's get into it. So the first step is to open up control panel, I'm sure all of you guys know how to open it and just open it that's all and then on the search control panel here just type power and then you'll see this thing you have to press it then you have this on balance as I do and maybe you have show additional plans and there you have the high performance I have it up there because I use it now. So just just press the high performance thing, it will help you a lot guys in the games. If you have a laptop or anything like that, it might not help you, you, have, you, you should let it unbalanced if you have a laptop or anything, because this will drain your energy from the laptop. The second step guys is to open up my computer and from here you just right click it, properties and then go to advanced system settings. And from here just press on settings and you have a bunch of things on here, checked, I don't know what your settings look like. But you should have everything like I do here because it has a maximum performance and doesn't look bad at all. And after you have done that, make sure to have on the system protection. If you don't need it, make sure to configure it and disable system protection. This is basically the system restore and pretty much all of you guys don't need it. I'm sure of it because no one needs it. So uh, just disable it if you don't need it. Okay guys, so moving on to the third step, you have to create a custom game and check your in-game settings. So after your in-game, make sure to press S, check your video settings, go into the video tab and the resolution. You should have the maximum resolution in the game because that's what gives you the most FPS. But if you have a really, really bad PC, you should put it on the lowest because that will help. So uh, on the window mode, you should have it on full screen because the other two resolutions are made for streaming so you don't need to bother with that to just make it on the full screen and you're good to go on the color blind you should have i don't know this is a preference thing actually it just makes this bar yellow if you have it off you you have the bar green so it doesn't make any difference at all but the height a candy you should have this checked because this gives you a bunch of fps like 20 30 fps if you have this disabled because you see the shiny things effects they will make if you have it unchecked, they will be like more smoother and all of that shit. You don't need that. So just make sure this is checked and you get some FPS. On the graphics quality, you should have the qu character quality on medium because it has FPS performance better and it has quality at, at the same time. So you should, have, you should have this on medium. But if you have a really bad PC, as I said, put it on low. Very low is not usable because it has the same FPS as low. So you, you should have a little, little quality there, you know. On the environment quality, guys, you should have it on medium also because it has performance and quality at the same time. On effects quality, this depends on you and your PC. You should have it on low or medium. If you have a really bad PC, put it on low or very low. The very low option really helps on this one. So make sure to check that if you have a really bad PC. Put, my opinion is to put it on medium because it just balances the things, you know. On the shadow thingy, put it on off, of course, because that's what gives you the most FPS into the game. If you disable all these useless shadows, guys, you don't really need it. It's just a, an aspect thing, you know, you don't really need that. So uh, just make, make sure this is off, it will give you a bunch of FPS, guys. The character inking, this is a preference thing, again, I have it unchecked because I don't really like the black things around my champion, since I have the anti-aliasing open. This thing is made for basically to have uh, the sharpened edges, you know, so I don't really need the character inking that much. So I just disable it to get a little bit more performance. On advanced tab guys, frame rate cap should be uncapped of course, that's what gives you the most FPS in the game. The anti-aliasing should be disabled and wait for vertical sync should be disabled too. 
The next step guys is to go into the first link of the description and you should see this. Pretty much this is a site called Coderbag. It has a program called Unpark CPU and it helps your CPU run better in the games and that kind of stuff. So basically this works but not for all the processor. It works for most of them but not for all of them. So uh, if this works for you, keep it. If it doesn't, like you don't see any frame rate improvement after you've done that, make sure to disable it again because it, it, it's just a waste of time to keep it there. So after you downloaded it, make sure you have this thing on your desktop or anywhere you saved it, extract it and this thing should pop up. After that, go into the folder and run the program. And uh, after that, you just check the status and see how many cores you have on your PC and it takes a while actually so let's just wait and there it is guys I have two of them and both of them are unparked and on your on your PC it should said uh, it should said park not unparked you know because I unparked them all because it actually give me a bunch of FPS so I unparked that all and I have FPS improvement so just unpark all the guys and after you click that thing you just have to restart your PC, go into the game, see if you have any improvements at all. And if you do, make sure to keep it. If you don't have any improvements, make sure to delete it and go in, go back into the program and park all the all the cores again and you're good to go. You have nothing changed. So your PC is back to normal. Okay guys, so the last step is to check your graphic card setting. So pretty much to open this thing, you have to right click on your desktop, then go into the Nvidia control panel or AMD control panel, it's the same shit. So pretty much you have this adjust image settings with the preview, you have both on AMD and uh, Nvidia, you have the same thing. So pretty much just write this bar to the performance thing and uh, then you're good to go. You have the maximum performance your graphics card can handle. And uh, the last thing guys I want to say, if you have an Nvidia card as I do, make sure to have the GeForce experience installed and uh, you, you should have these things like all of your games in the right side corner and uh, after this you should have all the settings in here and uh, how they should be and make sure to optimize your games as they say because they will give you the maximum performance it will give the maximum graphics settings and you have the graphics and the performance at the same time so just don't think you're a smart ass because it actually works with your graphics settings on the nvidia and you get the most of the things pretty much and it, it will help your pc run the games really smooth and you should do this for every game because your graphics cards know the better so if you have geforce experience just make sure to have these things on optimized so that was everything for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you liked it and if you did hit the like button guys it helps me out a lot and I hope you guys got an FPS boost from this video and uh, I don't know what to say anymore. So I hope you guys will have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys tomorrow with my next video. As they say is in the pudding So show me the money like my name is Cuba Gooding It ain't fool's gold, it's gold fool Can't stop, won't stop keeping it old school